Hey folks, in this video I'm going to be replacing the Magneto on this Honda GX160 clone. I've got a new Magneto here, all the way from China, for a couple of pounds. And we're going to be popping that on this engine. First thing we need to do is remove our air filter. And we're going to back the carb off just a little bit so we can get our case off and our plug wire off. So there's four 8mm bolts. Then we have two 10mm nuts that hold the carburetor on. I'm going to turn our fuel to the off position. Remove our fuel line. Be a little bit of fuel in this, can let it drip out. I'm going to pull our carburetor back, keeping our gaskets. I'm going to remove our governor linkage and spring. There we go. That gives us room now when we pull our spark lead to get it past the carburetor. Next, we need to take off the casing on the side of the engine. There are four 10mm bolts holding that on. Here we can see our flywheel and or magneto. So there are two 8mm bolts then holding that on. I'm going to pop them off. And all we need to do to remove it fully is disconnect the wire going to the start stop switch. It's just a bullet connector. So if you find it on the loom on the side of the engine, this one is cable tied on, so I'll need to cut that. And now we have our magneto fully out. I'm going to just check it against the new one. Make sure that the dimensions are the same and the bolt holes are the same. They all look good. HT lead is the correct length. So we can go ahead and get this bolted up just loosely, temporarily. I'm going to route our HT lead. There's a clip on the back of the spacer for the carburetor. Plug it in, the whole clipped in, and route our kill switch lead and plug it back in. The clearance setting between the flywheel and the magneto is 0.4 of a mil or 16 thousandths of an inch. If you have a feeler gauge, you can select your 16 thou feeler gauge, and we're going to Put that in, just hold it there by hand, and tighten the top one up loosely, do the same for the bottom one, double checking top and bottom, and then we can tighten it up. You can do this by eye as well, it's not super critical. As long as there's enough of an air gap between it that nothing is going to get caught and it's not fouling on the flywheel at all, you should be fine. I suppose the rule of thumb is the width of a business card or a thick-ish sheet of paper. So I have everything back together again now and a new spark plug put in. I put in a 
NGK BP or 6ES plug. Always a good idea to put in a new plug if you're replacing a coil, just because it can rule out all your ignition problems in one go. So I have the fuel turned on, choke on, on switch on, we're going to give it a pull. 